There's a big controversy in the tennis world these days. You're either in the camp where you focus on the contact point or you're in the camp where you focus on the finish. Which camp are you in? Well, my name is Jeff Salzenstein. I'm the founder of Tennis Evolution. And in this video today, we're gonna to talk about the follow through or the finish of the forehand because a lot of players are ignoring it and it's messing them up. And I don't want you to get messed up by having an inefficient follow through or finish. All right, so in this lesson, we're gonna help you with that. We're gonna break down some myths. We're gonna help you avoid this amateur forehand mistake you're making of not focusing on the finish because it's so important. Let's get going with that lesson right now. There is a major amateur mistake you're making on your forehand, and it's probably because you're not focusing on the finish or the follow through. That's right. If you don't focus on your finish, you may be struggling with your forehand. And what's confusing about this is I see world-class coaches say, when you make contact with the ball, the follow through doesn't matter because the ball's already left. Okay, I can, I can go with them to a certain extent, right? You're swinging, you make contact, the ball's already gone. It doesn't matter how you finish. Maybe, but I'm gonna err on the side of focusing on the finish, and here's the reason why. What I've found in my experience is that if you focus on the finish, then a lot of the rest of the swing takes care of itself. So you don't have to focus on all the stuff before and during if you have a clear picture of how you want the racket to finish at the very end. So having a clear picture is just like having a goal and you're moving towards that goal and you can see that goal and you can work backwards in order to create it. You can reverse engineer it and that's how we do it with the finish. Another example I'll give you, I worked with Robert Lambsdorff, five number ones in the world. And I took a lesson from him and guess what he focused on with me? My finish and my targets. So that was a big aha moment that I had that one of the best coaches of all time that coached all these great players with great ground strokes, he focused on the finish. So if you're going to a coach that tells you the finish doesn't matter, I would question him because there's a lot of people out there that are focusing on the finishing, finishing, getting great results. I won big matches focusing on the finish. And so let's get into some, some details here. The amateur mistake you're making is you're hitting the ball, you're not focusing on the finish, and the racket is just going over here. So it's kind of like you're flicking the ball because all you're caring about is making contact, and then you're just kind of flicking the ball. And there's no extension there right? There's no uh, swing development. There's no foundation. You're just, you're hitting and you're hoping and you're getting into bad habits and you're using your wrist. Now, if you have a great finish and you don't have to think about it, you don't, you don't have to worry about it. But I can tell you from doing thousands of video analysis over the years, it's very rare that a player has a great finish unless they consciously work on it. And so what I like to teach is that when you're hitting a forehand, you want to exaggerate that finish and look at where my hand and my racket go. So my hand is above my ear. My racket's above my head like this. When I tell people to finish high like this, a lot of times I'll see them down in here. In here, tight. And even when they think they're over the shoulder, they're in here. So I make players really exaggerate. Look at that height I'm getting. And that allows what to happen. Look at what the arm is doing. When I focus on my finish right here, Look at what my arm is doing. It's swinging around my body. I'm swinging low to high. I've got a nice foundation. Most players aren't focusing on the finish and it looks like this. Does that make sense? So this is what we wanna do. We wanna avoid the amateur serve, excuse me, the amateur forehand mistake of just swinging and not thinking about the finish and having a poor finish, an inefficient finish. We wanna focus on our foundation and having a higher finish that gives us extension. Now you might be saying, wait a minute, Federer doesn't finish high, Nadal doesn't finish high. That is true. A lot of times when they're swinging, they actually finish by their shoulder. So what's that all about? As long as you can extend, you can finish there. So a lot of times I'll teach players to swing out and around their body like this, and the racket still goes up here. The, the, the hand is about at nose level or even above, and then it comes down a little bit at the end. On a higher ball, you might even come straight across, but the key on this is that you have to extend first, and most club players don't extend. So that's why, again, I'm gonna make you, even if you finish by your shoulder, look at where I have players finish. With their hand away from their body like this, they catch it and then they can bring it back, right? Catch it and then bring it back. 
we don't want to get into the habit of swinging like this. So that's how you fix that amateur forehand mistake of, of finishing wrong, finishing inefficiently. That's how you start hitting the ball like a pro. And that's what I want you to focus on. Now, I want you to focus on that finish of your swing. I know it's going to make a difference and it's gonna help you avoid that amateur forehand mistake you're probably making by having a weak finish, okay? So let's focus on the follow through. Let's get incredible extension and space on it. And you know what? If you enjoyed this lesson, I've got more lessons for you that are gonna help you. The training that we can offer you will help you avoid the amateur mistakes that people are making out there. I don't want you to fall for these mistakes especially if you've been getting incorrect advice over the years. Let's fix that right now. So to do that, all you have to do is click the link below in this description below, click somewhere in this video, and we're gonna get you those amateur forehand mistakes right away. And make sure you're subscribed to the channel, turn on your notifications, and smash that like button because we want more players to find out about these awesome videos that are helping so many players around the world. My name is Jeff Salzenstein, and thanks for your time today.